DNA replication is one of the basic processes involved in making cells become more cells. It is the process of making a replica or copy of the DNA inside the nucleus, or if it's a bacteria, the single circular chromosome. This is something that happens just before cell division. It's not a normal process during the rest of the cell's cycle, um, during the rest of interphase. So that's a difference that'll help you remember when are you gonna do transcription, translation, versus when are you gonna do DNA replication. The basic process is pretty simple. You have to open up the helix. So the enzyme that does that is called helicase, ACE meaning enzyme. Then you start adding in your new DNA nucleotides. Wherever there's an A, you put a T. Wherever there's a T, you put an A. Wherever there's a G, you put a C. Wherever there's a C, you put a G. And that's done by the enzyme DNA polymerase because we're making a polymer of DNA using the enzyme. Then, once you've copied off the available bases, you have to open up more of the helix and restart some of your strands, which are called the lagging strands, the ones that have to be restarted because they're being built in the wrong direction of the opening helix. And then finally, when you're done, you join together those lagging strands, which I'll discuss more later, and you twist up your two new uh, double helices. If we take a quick look at this, you can see here we've opened up what's called a replication bubble. And a long molecule of DNA will actually generally have multiple replication bubbles. You can see that the red lines here represent the original or parental strands of DNA. Sometimes that's called template DNA. And then the blue lines here represent the daughter strands, the new strands of DNA that are being built. Each side of the replication bubble, the place where the DNA is being opened up, that is called a replication fork. So this bubble has a replication fork that's growing in this direction and a replication fork that's growing in that direction. Ultimately, when these two forks grow together, their efforts will be joined together using that enzyme called ligase, and we wind up with two new DNA molecules. Now, let's take a quick look at this YouTube video that'll go over a lot of these steps. And then, right at the end, I'll discuss how it uh, has some problems. Let me get... Uh, uh, YouTube started up. So we'll go ahead and we'll maximize this. And as you can see, here's the DNA molecule. We're inside the nucleus and we're going to see the enzyme helicase come along and open up the helix. Here you see it now. It's unwinding the helix, exposing the two original strands of DNA. Here are some free-floating DNA nucleotides, the sugar, the base, and the phosphate. They're floating around. Where'd they come from? Your food. Remember, it's got DNA in it because what you used to eat, or what you eat, used to be alive. And here we see the DNA polymerase enzyme joining together DNA. Now it's important to notice that it only builds in one direction. Remember that the two DNA strands in uh, double helix are anti-parallel. This enzyme is copying the other side, but because of the anti-parallel nature, they have to build in opposite directions. So here we see one replication fork, here we see another. Now we'll go ahead and stop this and we'll go back to the PowerPoint and I'll show you one of the ways that that video has some problems. Here we see that step. Now they only showed one continuous strand being built here. In actuality, each fork has a set of enzymes copying in that, that replication fork. Now you'll notice DNA can only be built in one direction even though the strands are oriented in opposite directions. What this means is when this green strand that's growing in this direction hits that fork and you open up more, no problem, it just keeps going. But this one's growing in the opposite direction. So what you wind up having to do is you wind up having to start brand new strands right here, which will give you a series of smaller fragments. There was a scientist, I believe in Japan, Dr. Okazaki, who figured, uh, who found these and thus they're named Okazaki fragments. This portion of the DNA where you have to continually restart is called the lagging strand. Here, the portion at this replication fork that is growing in the direction of that growing helix, that's called the leading strand. But ultimately, you join together all of your efforts using that ligase enzyme, and you wind up winding your two new molecules of DNA into new DNA helices.